Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Samaria, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over the dank memes from the Dank Memes from Site 19 subreddit. Let's get started. This one is by Zeal. The Ethics Committee shouldn't complain about the new humanoids containment procedures. It is fine with them. I hate it in here. Shut up. I do... <laughs> There are a lot of interpretations of the ethics committee, but honest to God, what the, it, it, this may sound weird, but I guess it's a little bit like children because <laughs> you're not keeping someone in containment for their own good. Most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time you're doing it for society's good one way or the other. So what they like or don't like doesn't enter into it, but there still is a way to do it. That's, you know, not cruel. And the doctors in the foundation, for some reason, just want to be as mean about it. I, well, I know what the problem is. The, uh, the writers want to show that the foundation is this cold and cruel. Or we're cold, but not cruel. They want to show that it's cold and cruel to make a point. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's the whole point. And uh, it, it, not my favorite portrayal of the foundation, if I'm being honest with you, because it's not super realistic. Um, I'm not saying that an organization can't exist that does some pretty terrible stuff. That's absolutely possible, but there would be objections. The idea that they're and beyond just the ethics committee that everybody ignores, there'd be objections amongst the rank and file. Not everybody is a monster <laughs> naturally and without outside pressure from like your culture or society, which still, you know, and it still preaches, you know, Hey, don't, don't be a, a monster. Uh, there's no way that doctors would act this way. Not all of them. Anyway. Foundation personnel trying to hide their fuck-ups from the higher-ups. The rise in voicing all of their shit. I do like the idea of... And I don't know that this is explored enough uh, in, in every canon. I know there are probably certainly canons that do. But I don't think it's explored enough how little privacy a Foundation employee actually has. I feel like they could really, and this is a shoulder meme, by the way, I think they could really dive into that and it would be quite an interesting, um, it'd be quite an interesting story uh, in almost any setting or almost any other story, like a little side thing about just, we don't have privacy, learn to live with it. This one's by Dim and Bright. What's the sad fellow's story? An unknown entity repeatedly harvests his organs, SCP-415. And this guy? Uh, he has no joints, so he breaks his bones every time he moves. SCP-116. Damn. What about him? He gets harassed by seals. Oof. Uh, yeah, SCP-3213. One of my most inspired ideas is just a guy that the seals, all seals in the world hate. <laughs> Swimming in the ocean, a seal comes up and says, I hate you. I hope you die. And then they beat him up. Sometimes the simplest ideas work the best. Me almost done reading and ranking every 001 proposal, the Dash J's. This one's by FanboyX27. I don't understand, and this is coming from somebody, by the way, who is uh, doing a, a YouTube short series that's going to take uh, until the end of time, where I'm going to rank every... Not rank. I'm, I'm going to do every SCP starting with 001 and move all the way to the end of the list, which will never happen. Um, I'm at three now. <laughs> uh, it's taken me three weeks to get through three, but, uh, yeah. Um, I don't understand the impetus to read and rank every... So, I think this comes from an approach to content and, um, media that is outside of how the SCP wiki works. And this is the reason why I feel comfortable not even exposing myself to certain uh, types of content. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Broken God stuff or Sarkic stuff. Um, I mean, I, I'm, more, I'm more of a fan of Broken God than I am of Sarkic. I don't think I've read any Sarkic articles that I've really enjoyed for the Sarkic content. And, uh, you know, the SCP Wiki has no single canon, right? So you don't. Ha it's, it's not like a television show where you have to watch every episode to understand what's going on in the story. And the next episode could reference literally anything that happened in the, pre in the past. In the SCP Wiki, if something's going to reference something that you need to read, trust me, they will link it. And it'll probably be by the author of the thing that you're reading. Uh, <laughs> so you don't need to read 
all of it in order to understand any of it. And the whole, I'm going to read everything. I'm going to read all of the SCPs. Uh, no, you're probably not. And even if you did, it wouldn't help you better understand the SCP universe over somebody else who's read more of a, a niche section and understands their section in more detail. Anyway. Dick means from site 19 saying enjoy boys first article being saved from deletion. So I, this is one's by Fravash one. I clicked through to the article in question, which has been delete since deleted. This is actually slightly older. I don't know what happened with this, but <laughs> I understand there was an article. It started to fail and then somebody posted a, uh, I'm not sure exactly what. This may be a two separate incidents, but there, somebody posted some memes to help try and save it. But then another article was doing the same thing. And I feel like people were mad that somebody was trying to, uh, quote unquote, beg for votes to save it. Someone in the comments can explain to me what exactly happened here because I'm quite interested to know. I'm a scientist. I cannot let my emotions attach me to a potentially dangerous anomaly. I must only refer to this scared four-year-old who we separated from his family forever as SCP-37-37489. SCP-2524. Oh my god, Walter, hi! Yeah, th this is, uh, again, this one's by Spiritual Fan 2436 uh, The reason why this exists is because different authors interpret the SCP Foundation in different ways. That's it. That's the whole problem. Everybody's going to be like, oh, you know, how come in some articles they they use the names of the characters and in some articles they say that they can't because they've got to be cold and uh, unfeeling about it. No, it's because the neither in every article is a canon to itself. Uh, and unless it re directly references another article, uh, it doesn't even include that. It doesn't include any other article's backstory. Let's say I wrote an article on the SCP Wiki, and I referenced SCP-173 in it. Well, okay, great. In my article, SCP-173 exists, but in SCP-1, that doesn't change what's going on with SCP-173. In SCP-173, my article doesn't exist. It can be one way. And again, this is alien to how people understand and consume fiction. Uh, so it can be a bit hard to comprehend. Uh, but this is not, I mean, this is, it's funny because there is a little bit of a, um, it, the juxtaposition here is indeed funny, but it's more understandable than people make it out to be. Unexistent entity. SCP fans creating new hypothetical fields of study to argue with online strangers about. I had... And I'm going to click through here to find it real quick. I'm not going to name names, but I had a, a com conversation with somebody recently. Oh, right, right, right. I wrote an article that included the word esokinetic, which is a made up word uh, that the wiki has used before. But uh, we'll get into a little bit of a talk about this in a second. It's a made up word that means reality warper. And... The person in the article goes, what's esokinetic? And I said, well, that's a reality warper. And they said, do you mean ontokinetic? And I'm like, no, I meant esokinetic. Ontokinetic is also correct if you'd like to use that instead, because they're both made up words. <laughs> Don't act like you're correcting me, you motherfucker. Sorry. It made me, it made me angry. It it really did. It legitimately, genuinely, because they didn't go, oh, that's a, I didn't know that that meant that. They go, oh, did you mean onto connect? No, I didn't. If I meant that, I'd have put that piece of shit. Ugh. Anyway, I think that's the last one. So it's good that I got angry at the end. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos, and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian, pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who's pledged at $100. I would very, very much appreciate it if you guys could pledge. Uh, I've seen my Patreon numbers start to slowly slide down, and I haven't been uploading as frequently uh, recently. I, 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 did a, I did a shorts... Uh, I was tr I'm trying to do get to the point where I can schedule regular videos on Tuesday and Wednesday and then shorts on Monday. No, yeah, Tuesday and Thursday and then shorts on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Yeah. And then I'll take the weekends off. <laughs> 
Uh, that would be my preference, but uh, getting into a, a groove where I can actually get all that editing done and get all that recording done is a little bit more difficult than it used to be. I miss when I could just flick on my camera. I really do miss when I could just flick on my camera. Now I have to get everything set up. Man, I gotta figure out a way to get everything set up so I don't have to... <laughs> I need to figure it out. I'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 uh, join me on Patreon. Uh, it will really help me. I, if I had more uh, funding coming in, I could maybe get some sort of re buy a new setup that actually allows me to have everything uh, just a flick of a switch and I can start going again. I'd really like that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again on Tuesday or Monday. One of those two.